The views and opinions expressed on this stream do not necessarily reflect the views of Hybrid Hype Gaming LLC or its affiliates. All right, all right, it's your boy F to the Z. All right, so uh, it is currently six ten a.m. on the twenty second of December. I just finished watching the new Matrix movie. And to be honest, I fucking loved it. I actually loved it. Like, um, I'm not trying to, like, say too much because I ain't trying to spoil it. But I think the one of the things I really like is they are literally, it's one big inside joke. And that's the beauty of this movie. Every, let's just read behind, you just got to read between the lines. Anything you think that sounds dumb, or why the fuck are they doing this, or that's a yen, they're doing it on purpose. And I think that's what makes this movie genius. It's literally, it's a mirror. It's, hey, here's that hype train from like 20 years ago. I'm going to like put it back in your face so you see how that feels. And then I'm going to chuck that shit right out the window. All right? So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, man, the action, I have to admit, the fight choreography was not as good as the earlier movies, but then again, you know what I'm saying, when we're dealing with you know, our main characters are, you know, a little on the old side, to be perfectly honest, I mean, ain't Keanu Reeves like 60 or something, I think, let me look that man up, how old is it, alright. All right, that man is 57 years old. I don't expect him to be sitting there, you know, doing Jackie Chan shit. The only person that can do Jackie Chan shit at that age is Jackie Chan. Anyways, for the most part, yeah, man, I loved it. I love the promise of it. I like how it doesn't take itself too serious, and then that's what makes it work. Like, uh, there's a part where, like, there's a couple parts, there's a lot of parts that, like, reflect the earlier movies. Like, there's times where they, they will go ahead and bring back shots. Like, for example, uh, there's that scene from, from the first movie where, where Neo was shooting the bullets to save Morpheus and shit. And you see, like, the bullet cases, like, falling, like, rain. Because, you know, rain's always a big uh, theme that they used in those movies. So, they, they, they did a callback to that shot in the movie and you know saying shit like that and it's pretty fucking dope and uh they 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 the reasoning for how all this is possible and what happened after like the first three movies I think that was written pretty well especially with uh you know so when they go ahead and they meet who's you know the leader and stuff and all that like I said I'm not trying to spoil anything but yeah man like, don't go into this movie expecting anything, and this movie will give you everything. And I'm not saying I'm not saying anything in particular, but there's a certain actor in that movie who I did not expect to be that central to the to the plot. And between him and the guy who plays like Neo's boss. You know, such as the guy you see in a, in a in a commercial, those two pretty much stole the show. Except for you know another character that I, I'm not trying to spoil it. I mean, like everybody, I feel everybody that was in the movie understood their assignment, personally, personally, like like it's a, it mirrors like its overall like perception theme. And pretty much, if you read between the lines, it's actually a critique of real life. Just like Simulation of Simulacra, or whatever the fuck that book was called. The one that Neo had the things in and everyone had to read when they were filming these movies. And then that nigga said, fuck to these movies. But, I mean, that's a whole other story. There's plenty of shit on YouTube where you can look that information up. But, yeah, man, so... We're going to break it down. Overall acting. Some of us a little stiff, to be honest. But again, again, it's The Matrix. I wasn't really expecting Shakespearean acting there. The action, like, you know, gunplay and all that shit. Not as elaborate or as extreme as the earlier movies. But yeah, there's a lot of gunfights and shit. And they're all pretty fucking dope. Fight choreography, this is actually its weakest point. The fight choreography was kind of weak. But special effects, 
they did an amazing job with the special effects. In fact, there's a special effect in particular that actually becomes a plot device. Why? Perception. Like, you got, you just got to see the movie. So, uh, overall, I'm going to give this movie like an 8 out of 10. So, it's definitely, like, if you're a fan of the series, you'll definitely give it at least an 8 out of 10. If you're not, if you're never really into that whole, you know, Matrix thing, if you wasn't really a big fan of it back in the 2000s, or you're literally going into this blind, never seen the first three movies, you'll probably find it uh, maybe like a, 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 a solid 7. You know what I'm saying? Maybe like a 6. Five if you're not even into those kind of movies, but I would say for all the the nods, the throwbacks, and all the stuff that you're supposed to read between the lines for, I think that's what gives it eight. I give it eight eight point five. So yeah, I'm gonna stick with that eight point five out of ten. Matrix Resurrections. Go ahead, check it out. I saw it on HBO Max, but I really, really strongly suggest watching it in a the theater because they try to be very atmospheric with a lot of their scenery. And a lot of the scenery, like, it's supposed to... You're supposed to have a big-ass screen to be immersed in it because that's another facet of what this franchise is trying to do. It's basically what that franchise always did. You're pulling you into another world. So, yeah, 8.5 out of 10, Matrix Resu uh, Resurrections. Check that shit out. Uh, other than that, it's your boy AF to the Z. Love, peace, and chicken grease. I'm about to take my ass to sleep. Peace. I totally didn't push the button, didn't I? Maybe it's a glitch in the Matrix.